Hi guys, welcome to your new workout, new day, I'm hoping you're feeling good. This is your Ab Blast workout. Again, it's 40 seconds worth of work and 20 seconds worth of rest. In the 20 seconds, I will be explaining the next exercise to you. So you make sure you rest whilst I'll explain what we're doing. So we're going to start off lying down on a mat or a towel, doing some glute squeezes. So we're going to be squeezing your buttocks, squeezing your bum. That's what we're going to be doing. So have my gym boss here. Just lie on your back for me. Make sure your knees and your feet are hip width wide. Relax your shoulders and I just want you to come up into this position, which in Pilates we call a shoulder bridge position. Now you want to make sure that your hips are nice and level, okay? And you're going to concentrate on working your buttocks. So relax the shoulders, relax the neck. 40 seconds on our gym boss starts now. And all we're going to do is squeeze the buttocks up, drop them down, squeeze them up, and drop them down. So we're not quite touching the mat, but we are trying to take them down as low as we can, and then squeeze them all the way up, but making sure that the hips are nice and level. So squeezing up, lowering it down, squeeze up, and lower it down. And again, if you're sitting down all day, if you're at a computer, if you're riding a bike, if you're driving, all these muscles here get tight in the front of the leg. So we've stretched them off, and now what we're doing is working the muscles at the back. Okay, lovely. And rest that down. So exercise number two, guys, is going to be an ab curl. So again, stay lying on your back for me. Arms go above the head. Make sure the lower back's into the mat. You breathe in. As you breathe out, you come up, touch the knees here, breathe in as you come down, and breathe out as you come up. Lovely. So when you're ready, join in with me. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Lovely. As you breathe out, pull your tummy in. Lovely. Breathing in and out. Keeping the neck nice and relaxed. Arms come up and all the way down all the way up and all the way down. Lovely. Try and keep your back into the mat. Lovely. We will soon be there. So that's exercise number two. Exercise number three, you place your fingertips by your temples or behind the head, but don't yank on the head. Keep your left arm down and this right arm, the shoulder here, armpit, is aiming over to the left knee. So you aim over to the left knee, then the left armpit comes over to the right knee. So you're just coming from side to side. Lovely. Working those abdominals, working your internal and external obliques. So all the way over, keeping the elbow back and aiming your armpit over to your opposite knee. Over we go, lovely, good. Now if you want to, bring in the knees to meet the elbow. Bring in the knee to meet the elbow. I can feel this, <laughs> I hope you can. Lovely, have a little rest, just bring the knees into the chest. Exercise number four, press ups. Turn yourself over, take the hands wider than the mat, take the knees behind your hips, Keep your back nice and straight, bend your elbows and straighten your arms. So down and push back up, down and push back up, lovely, good. Now try not to have your head up or your head down. You want to keep your neck nice and long. If you are strong and want to take it up into a full press up, keep your bum down, all the way down to the floor and all the way up. But today, I'm keeping it on my hands and knees. So down and push up, down and push it up. If you can just go there to there, that's fine. But you want to try and get the depth of the movement so that your muscles get challenged. So just sit back and have a little stretch. Our next exercise, guys, is exercise number five. It's reverse curls. So onto your back. 
relax the arms, palms up, legs up, try and lift your bottom off the mat. Okay, so just lift your bottom off the mat. So you're lifting off at the same time, try and get your feet to touch the ceiling. So you lift and touch, lift and touch, lift and touch. You can really feel these in your lower abs. If you hurt your back doing these, you don't want to do that, so just come back and do your curl ups, okay? So just do whatever you need to do for you today. Lovely, breathe out, breathe in. Excellent. So just coming up guys, we've got a side plank. So turning onto one side for me, elbow underneath shoulder, bend the lower leg if you want to keep this nice and easy. And you're just gonna lift up that underneath waist like so. Make sure your hips are stacked. Make sure your elbows under your shoulders, I've said, and this arm comes here or here. And smile at me, <laughs> this is so hard. Keep the neck nice and long, and you're working the underneath waist area. So make sure your hips aren't dropped forwards or back. You're stacking your hips and keeping everything in a nice long line. And breathe, lovely, and breathe. This is quite a hard one, lovely, and release. I'm just gonna do a normal plank now. You can do this with straight arms, shoulders back and down, and long legs, or down onto your elbows with long legs. Just make sure your bum's not up here. Has to be like a plank of wood, a nice straight, long line. And breathe. Make sure your back's not dipping, guys. Lift up the hips, but keep the bum low. Keep that neck nice and long, lovely. If you need to drop down to your knees, that's fine. Just keep sucking up your tummy away from the floor. Keep your back nice and strong. Good. So again, just work into whatever option you can do today. My body's shaking. <laughs> oh. Come on, timer. Beep, beep, please. Excellent. Have a little stretch back. Changing to the opposite side. My necklace is all caught up here. Okay. Elbow underneath the shoulder. Legs straight. Bend the lower leg if you need to. I did that last time, but this time I'm doing the harder option. Both legs together. Lift up. Arm up if you're very strong. If not, drop the arm down to the side. Just make sure the hips are stacked, the knees are stacked, and the feet are stacked. But more importantly, this shoulder over the elbow. And breathe. Again, if you find it too much, lower that bottom leg, bend it, keep the top leg nice and straight. If your shoulder starts to hurt, then just come out of it, guys, and relax. Oh, four seconds to go. Lovely, good, excellent, well done. And just roll your shoulders. Okay, so we've done lots of plank work there. We're now gonna do back extensions. So, lying on your tummy, you're going to pull your belly button up away from the floor. The arms are coming out in front of you. Okay, squeeze the bum, lift up the opposite arm to the opposite leg. Breathe in as you come down, squeeze the bum, then lengthen and lift opposite arm to opposite leg. Keep both hip bones in contact with the mats so you're not lifting off like so. Keep them nice and low, lengthen and lift and lower. Lengthen, lift and lower. Lengthen lift and lower, lengthen, lift up and lower down, Whew. okay, we're turning back over, exercise number 10, time flies, back to our glute squeezes that we did right at the top, 
of this session. So both feet hip width wide, lift up the bottom, relax the arms and squeeze up and drop down, squeeze up, drop down, squeeze and drop, squeeze and drop. These feel really easy compared to what we've just done. It's nice to have a bit of a breather. Lovely. Keep squeezing, lower it down and lift. Lower it down and lift up. Lovely. Remember to keep these hip bones level. So you're squeezing equally through both butt cheeks. Lift up and lower down. Lift and lower. We've got four and three, two, and one more, lovely, and rest. Just bring the knees in. Guys, exercise number 11, mountain climbers. Arms straight, legs straight, knee in, knee in, knee in, knee in. So bring your knee right in, knee right in. Keep that neck nice and long. Try and keep the chin in, but make sure the head's not dropping down all up, lovely, tummy muscles nice and tight, bringing those knees in, now if you want to you can bring the knee across to the elbow, knee across, knee across, knee across, we've got 10 seconds to go guys, try and keep nice and low, if you're getting really really tired just drop down to your knees and take a break, two and one, Oh, little stretch, triceps, fingers facing forwards, shoulders back and down, okay, all we're going to do is lean in to an elbow bend and then straighten, lean into an elbow bend and straighten, so it's down and up, down and up. How are you feeling guys? Even with no jumping around, I am sweating <laughs> and I can feel my muscles have worked. Lovely, keep that going. So this is your ab blast workout. Okay, and up, down and push up, lovely. Keep going all the way to the beep. There you go. Oh, <laughs> okay, just stretch that arm off there. Lovely. Now, if you've got lots of energy and you want to do that workout again, that's absolutely fantastic. Start it, work through exercises 1 to 12, let me know how you get on. If you combine the ab blast with the leg blast, because you're feeling really energetic one day, then do so and you've worked the whole body there. Okay, until your next workout guys, make sure you stretch off and I will see you another day. Bye for now.